Oi gente, tudo bem? A conversa de hoje com o Dr. Gabriel Cousins é uma conversa filosófica. O que é que a gente está fazendo nesse planeta? Eu lembro quando eu era adolescente, assim, eu costumava olhar para o céu e pensar Nossa, me largaram aqui, quando é que vão me buscar de novo? Porque a gente não entende muito bem o que é que está fazendo nesse planeta, não é? Então eu estou compartilhando aqui com vocês os conhecimentos de um dos meus professores espirituais, o Dr. Gabriel Cousins, e ele vai falar um pouquinho de o que é que a gente está fazendo aqui, afinal. I welcome you all with love. It's a very profound question. Why are we here? The way we answer it determines how we live our life. Are we here by chance? Are we here by accident? Or, from a spiritual point of view, are we here for the purpose of elevating our consciousness back into unity with God? And not only that, are we here to elevate not only our own consciousness but the consciousness of the living planet so we collectively become unified with God. I choose to take the spiritual approach and have been working on sharing a lifestyle and in essence a way of life which in yoga we say sanatana dharma the natural way of living that takes you to liberation what is that natural way of living at the center of it is our connection with the with the divine the question then is how do we live and how do we eat in a way that deepens our connection with the divine. That ultimately brings us to what we would call aktu, the direct apperception of the divine in our lives, the direct oneness with that divine. To do that, I begin to talk about a way of life that is in essence non-sectarian because it belongs to everyone and I call it the six foundations and the sevenfold peace and this is a way of life that naturally brings us back into greater and greater unity with the divine and ultimately merging with the divine and this divine cycle of coming and going. So, did the divine really need to put humans on the planet? Not really. Did the divine really need to create the planet? Not really. But there's a cosmic flow of creation that is part of the play of the divine. That's a way of beginning to understand that. And it's said at the beginning of time, the divine, which was ever present, created an internal contraction to create a space for creation to happen, including the creation of this universe, including the creation of this planet. And in that contraction or opening of a vacuum within the cosmic space, a unifying light came forth called the Kav. And that light then, from that light became all the materials going from energy to physical of our living planet and ultimately of us. That's a very short overview. However, the point is here we are, we're living on planet Earth, what are we gonna do about it? So the six foundations and sevenfold peace are a way of life that really elevate our consciousness 
and help us reconnect with the divine. And there's three levels of that connection. First is uh, certain uh, practices, we may call them mix, mitzvah, good deeds that help align us with that. Okay. Second level is opening our heart to the divine. Depending on your tradition, uh, we call hamtak or the sweetness of the divine, the love of the divine. In yoga tradition, we may call it bhakti, love of the divine. And finally, the direct realization that we are not only a spark of the divine, but we merge with the divine. And uh, akdut is the suddenness of that awakingness. Um, and so that's what we're looking at. So how do we get, how does this happen? Well, first we have to understand there's two wings of the bird. Work, way of life, and grace. In other words, grace means we have an appointed time when we wake up or become liberated and merge with the divine. However, to realize that grace, we have to do the work. So we're ready when it's our time on the spiral for that to happen. That takes us to the six foundations in sevenfold peace. The six foundations have to do with eating in a way and spiritual fasting that helps us become superconductors of the divine. And in, in my research and my experience, over the last 50 years, that was, well, actually the last 60 years, that is the rainbow diet, which is 100% plant-based or vegan, and at least 80% live food. And along with that is spiritual fasting, twice a year for about a week. And spiritual fasting, different than regular fasting, involves meditation and uh, practices that help us connect with the divine. The second aspect to that is building our prana or our nefesh or our chi life force. And we do that with breathing exercises, yoga known as pranayama, we do that with yoga asana, tai chi, chi gong, sacred dance. It expands consciousness. And when we expand consciousness and we expand the life force, consciousness expands. The third is service and charity. And that's very important because it helps open our heart. The fourth is working with, if you're ready, with a, an awakened spiritual teacher who can activate your awakening and give you the background and understanding to expand your consciousness. The fifth foundation is meditation and prayer and repeating the name of God always in our consciousness. And the sixth is as, as much descent of grace as possible. Yoga we call it Shaktipat in the uh, biblical tradition, we call it the Ruach HaKadosh, or the Holy Spirit. Those are foundations that really help us become a superconductor of the divine. Combined with this is the sevenfold peace. More of an Essene teaching. It means peace with the body, which already has to do with the diet that I'm talking about, which is again, 100% plant-based or vegan diet, and at least 80% live food. Peace with the mind, which we do with meditation and prayer. And by eating a way that doesn't agitate or aggravate the mind. When we take the energy of death of an animal in, we're, we're, we are taking in their fear, their misery, and their pain, and it agitates your mind. We don't need to do that. That's why we talk about a plant-based diet. There's no death in a plant-based diet. Third is peace with the family. Well, when your mind is healthy and peaceful, and your body is healthy, 
we're able to focus our energies to create sacred relationships and conscious parenting in a way that elevates everyone. And there's a old Taoist teaching that says when one is at peace with their family, it brings us to peace with the world. Because the same principles are there. So when we say peace with the world, that's really the next step, peace with the community. And as we create peace within our own community, the family and then our larger community, you start to create a, uh, an energy field that helps everyone become more peaceful and more at one. Then there's peace with all cultures. And in the biblical tradition and also Native American, we talk about peace with the rock people or the domain. And then peace with the animal world or Haya. And then peace, I'm sorry, peace with the plant world. And then peace with the animal world and peace with all the human cultures. And that's what we mean by peace with all the cultures. And then from that we also move with peace with the ecology. The evidence is overwhelming that a plant-based diet preserves the ecology. Literally, one vegan can live on the same space, oh, 16 vegans can live on the same space as one meat eater. The differential of the energy, of the pollution, and the use of water is very significant. Each day, a meat eater uses approximately 4,500 gallons of water. A vegan uses 300 gallons of water. Quite a difference as we're beginning to run out of fresh water on the planet. The animal agriculture uses uh, about 70% of all the agricultural land and uses up 30% of all the land on the planet. Whereas a vegan, a person living in a vegan based diet is really only needing 5%. That's pretty significant. If the whole world were vegan, we would have enough food to feed the world seven times over. That's also very significant. If the whole world only ate live food, we'd have enough food to feed the world 12 times over. So there really is no need for uh, uh, starvation that's happening on the planet. They estimate 40 to 60 million people starve to death each year. There's no need for that. There's enough food to feed everyone. As we begin to look at, again, the, the whole meaning of the peace with the ecology. There's enough good water that works. Uh, generally speaking, Private people take about 10% of the world's water, industry takes about 20%, and animal agriculture takes 70%. That's a huge waste of resources. Energy-wise, the it varies. Some people say it takes 12 times as much energy, others say 22 to 29 times as much energy. Whatever it is, it takes a lot more energy to support a meat-based way of life versus a plant-based way of life. Whether it's 12 times more, which is huge, or 22 or 29 times more, it's still a lot. So we have the whole ecology that we create peace with when we're eating a plant-based diet. And finally, peace with the divine. So when we're living in this peaceful way, we're not causing 
death of animals. We, and we're in harmony with our own body, our mind, our families, the community, all cultures, it's much easier to be at peace with the divine. So when we combine the six foundations and the sevenfold peace, we have a very powerful lifestyle, very powerful way of life that naturally takes us to peace on all levels of our life and ultimately brings us to liberation, which is why we're meant to be and put on the planet so we evolve back to the oneness with God that we were meant to be. So may you all be blessed that you're able to bring that six foundation, seven full peace and truly know your oneness with your soul and oneness with the divine in this lifetime. Amen. Então, pessoal, qual é o sentido da vida, se não o reencontro com a nossa origem, que é a divindade? Agora, entre a chegada nesse planeta e a nossa saída desse planeta, nada melhor do que a gente viver uma vida em felicidade e paz. Então, existe a vida e existe a morte. E entre uma coisa e outra, vamos ter uma experiência pacífica, bonita e divertida. E para isso, o Dr. Cousins está dando aqui um caminho. E esse caminho se chama Os Seis Fundamentos para a Vida Espiritual ou para a Expansão da Consciência. Eu já gravei uma websérie com este assunto e você pode ir lá e se aprofundar direitinho em como ter esse estilo de vida. E também gravei um vídeo sobre os Sete Níveis da Paz que vão te ajudar a entender como ter paz em tudo na sua vida. Espero que você esteja curtindo muito. Aqui o compartilhamento que eu estou fazendo do meu professor com vocês. E a gente vai continuar aí cada vez trazendo mais conteúdo para você. Deixa aqui seu comentário se você está gostando, o que mais que você quer ver aqui no canal. E não se esqueça de assinar o nosso canal, o sininho de notificação e dar uma curtida aqui no nosso vídeo. Um beijo e até o próximo!